The Infinity AT trading platform generally attracts active traders, and you probably found yourself in a situation where you were looking at a chart similar to this setup. This is a February crude oil chart on the left-hand side, and you can see we've got the February crude oil dome on the right-hand side. And you've probably been in a situation where you saw a trade setup happening, and you went to go get into the market really quickly using buy market or sell market, and instead of getting into the trade, you get a rejection telling you to enter a quantity. So you may find yourself in a position where you want to set a default quantity so there's always a number in the quantity field here on the dome. The way to do that is to bring up the scoreboard, which is this window. Okay, you may have it minimized. It says demo. If you're using a demo account, Infinity AT, the version number, your user ID, and your account number in the header. So locate that. It's probably minimized. And go up to the right-hand side. Look for the field that says default QTY on the right. All you need to do is double click in that field and change the value in there to something other than zero and then just click back to your dome. And if you notice when I close the dome, notice how there's a zero still in the quantity. If I close the dome now and then reopen it, you'll see that now it's got a quantity of one always in there. So if you want, a set, if you want to set a default quantity for any commodity futures contract, what you need to do is one by one go to the default QTY field, double click in that field, change the number to a different number other than zero, and then just open uh, the dome, or if it's closed, close it and reopen it. Notice I just opened up the E-mini S&P, and we automatically have a one in the quantity field. So again, if you want to have a default quantity always set here, that's done from the scoreboard under the default QTY column on the right-hand side. Thank you. One thing you might want to do from the get-go is arrange the screen in a way that fits your needs. So when you look at the Infinity AT platform, you're going to see a few windows. It might look a little disjointed. It's just a matter of setting things up in a way that fits you. What you see at the top here is the, what we call the scoreboard. This is like your home screen. You're not really going to be doing any trading from here. This is what you use to close down the platform, to launch the Infinity AT dome, to check out your open orders and working orders. You can check your positions. So it's generally like a... Uh, a consolidated place where you can see information about what markets you're trading, price quotes, and so forth. And again, it's also the one you use to shut down the program and access the platform's properties. But you might not need this on the top of your screen all the time. So one thing you might want to do is arrange the screen in a way that fits uh, your style. So, for example, the charting window doesn't have to take up the entire screen. If you want to leave a little space, maybe put the dome on one side minimize the scoreboard and then arrange the chart so that the remainder of your space is visible you could e easily set something up like this you can always bring the scoreboard up it's minimized down at the bottom of your screen if you need it okay you can always put it right back and now you have a framework that you can build your charts in so uh, do you have to leave the dome entirely visible no some people will like to leave just a little space open so they can easily bring the dome to the top like this and then they can go right back to the chart there's also an option covered in another video called set to topmost that can keep the dome on top of the screen all the time. But really just a matter of arranging your screen uh, one time you know, while you're just getting used to the program. The Sierra, uh, the Sierra chart program can be maximized so it takes up the whole screen. It can be squished down so it only takes up a small portion of the screen. You really have a lot of flexibility. So it's 100% up to you. Uh, if you need some assistance arranging the screen the first time and uh, helping us or need some help just uh, from your rep here to get things situated, uh, just give us a call. Thank you.